Hello. Nice to see ya. Welcome back. As you can see, I'm wearing the last thing that I made. It's not closed in the back, so. Like, I couldn't reach it. Let's get on. The last video that I made, which was doing a dress like this, I think I disappointed a couple people because they wanted to see it like a dress made out of a blanket again. And the thing is, I wanted to make a video that was like me doing. This is falling low. <laughs> me doing. Me doing videos on like making dresses out of random things, and I thought that'd be a cool idea. So I made it out of four leaf clovers, and people have told me that they didn't. This wasn't their favorite because of all the holes, but I ran out of felt, so what do you want me to do? I've decided since it's the prom season, let's make a dress. Let's make let's make my prom dress. That's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna say. So I went to Walmart and I got a blanket, and this was the only thing that they had that was kind of good. I went over there and they had like ugly blankets, and these were the only ones that were made of fleece, which is a light material, and cheap as well. This is what we have going on. Learning from my past mistakes, and I don't feel like running out of material again, because even when I made the very first dress, I ended up running out of material. If you notice the bottom part of the dress, it's like, I had to glue a couple of extra pieces of fabric together. So I got another one, and in case you run out of this one, I also got another one. I know exactly the design that I want for my dress. I want a two-piece dress, so I'm gonna have the midriff showing, because I think it would be cooler, and I want a fit and flare dress, which is a dress that, like, fits here and then goes out, so it's all pretty. Because last time I made a mermaid um, silhouette, which is, like, all the way down and then goes out at the very end, and that was cool, but I felt very insecure in it because it was, like, hugging my body, and I'm gonna be able to spin in it. So, let's get... To go in. I'm not gonna show you what the dress is gonna look like. You're just gonna see what it's gonna look like at the very end of this video. You know, when people do this, when people pull this kind of trick on their YouTube videos, I end up just skipping to the end of the- Don't skip, don't, don't skip. Hi, welcome, here I am at voiceover, that's nice. Okay, so the first step is gonna be you're gonna have to measure it around you. Um, we're not gonna cut exactly anything off, you're just gonna check to see if anything is like too long. Right here you can see that if I make the dress, it's gonna be too long, so I'm gonna have to cut it off, and I don't wanna get triggered. This is the bottom part of the dress that I ended up cutting off, and do not throw it away and use it to make another one, and then another one, and this is gonna be used as a hem. And that's the dress once it's all been cut. Now let's glue it on. You Now you could choose to sew it, but I'm choosing to glue it because I don't have the patience for all this stuff. So, this is how I'm gonna glue it on. I'm actually just gonna flip it like this, so like, the small part is facing the good, the long part. The good part, what am I talking about? And as you can see that there's a bit of it glued, you're gonna have to flip it on the other side, and then you're gonna pleat it a little bit, do you understand? This is very complicated. No one's gonna do this, so... You should just watch me do it, how about that? You see how I'm taking the long side and folding it over here, and then I'm gonna glue all of those down, which takes up a lot of glue, so... So fun! See how it's pleated? It's not like a traditional pleat, it's like... You see? You see? It's like, folded in and then like... I can't explain it, and just watch, see how it is, just look at it, that's it. And here is it all completed, because it is completed now. And as you can see, I flipped it on the other way, and this is the short side, and we're going to end up folding it over, and then we're going to hem that so it gives it a clean finish. And these are all the pleats that took a while to do. And bam, we're done. This is it. Great. Okay, so it's the next day, I got back from school, and I'm in my gross outfit that I wear when I get back from school, and here is what I have completed. So I have the skirt all laid out, and now all I'm gonna do is begin measuring it, and then I will fit it, and then I'll just cut it. You'll see. So here it is. This is what we have. Now, I ended up using two blankets on the back, and if you can see, right here, and I ended up just taking two and then gluing them like that, and this is not gonna be the side that I'm gonna wear. There's gonna, it's gonna be this side that I'm gonna wear. Alright, now, I am very aware that this is very long, so that's, just, let's, I'm gonna cut. So I'm gonna wrap it around into where I want it, just like that, and this is what I'm gonna cut off. I'm taking a sharpie and just putting a dot where I'm gonna cut it, so like about right there. We're making progress. Ta-da! And after gluing the bottom part of the dress, this is the completed dress, except without the button, which we're gonna eventually attach. See how clean and nice it looks? 
Now I purposely didn't glue this part of the dress because it's going to be the part that I'm going to attach a button so it can be, you know, wearable. And that's the button to glue on. And then we're going to cut out a hole here. And that way the button can be attached like so. If I can get it on. It's, is it coming on? Oh, there, there it is. Bam. Got it. Now it's time for the top. Now, for this part, we're going to actually measure a piece of fabric, because we're going to use fabric, like, duh. And we're going to measure it around, and, yeah, you're going to cut it off. See, like that? See? And then you're going to just snip that off. And then I'm getting a marker, which I forgot to get. Silly me. Now, okay, no, I guess I didn't get a marker. I got scissors. And just chop it off. Chop it off. Chop it off. Are you okay? Yeah? Yeah? No? Still not there? Okay. Almost. Almost. There you go! Yeah! Congratulations to me. Those are my hands clapping. <laughs> not anything else. <coughs> it's really? I'm recording in a closet. It's really weird in here. This is what it should look like. See how it fits perfectly around me? Now this time I did take a marker. Yes, very good. And I marked where um the sides of my torso are because that's where I'm gonna have to know where to glue. Now I'm taking my final blanket, yes I've used all three at this point, and I'm gonna take this piece of fabric, the one that I cut out, and I'm gonna make sure that it can like, you know, cover this part of my chest. Um, well you can't see. I'm folding it in half and then I'm gonna mark where it goes. You see? You see? And then make sure that the two straps that you cut out are long enough to go over your shoulders because if it's not, then your top is not going to look right. And then we're going to glue both of these down right where the, the, yeah, you know, the two lines that I drew earlier were? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. And then this is what it looks like, glued down. Um, and then we're going to glue this down, you see? Ah, too much? I say the word glue too much. This is what it looks like glued down, and I left these parts open because you're going to you know, cover it, and yes, this has been taking far too long than it should be. This is what you should have. Now what you're going to do is you're going to fold in the sides, and then you're going to take the top, and then you're going to twist it. Um, I'd say twist it twice, which I didn't twist it twice up here. There you go, it's twisted twice. And then you're going to take this part over, and then you're going to, wait, are you, are you going to? Okay, yeah, you're going to take it right there, and then you're going to fold it in. You're going to open this flap up, and then you're going to, Make sure, because this has to be hemmed also. Yes, the word hem, it's being used over abundant. And then this is what it looks like, and then you're gonna, when you glue this part down, oh my, <laughs> tongue twisters. There, bam, that's what it should look like when it's finally glued. And this is, yeah, it's completely glued right here. And um, also this corner right there, yeah, that corner. Oh, I didn't show you, wow. Um, there, and then glue a button, and then make a hole so you can attach the button. Oh, and also these these sides right here, you should probably glue those too, because, yeah. So, this is the dress completed, finally! This dress came out actually beautiful. I am shocked. I surprised myself. I really like making these dress videos because they're fun and I also get to see how skillful I am. Yeah. And I just had fun making this and um, I'm not going to prom because I'm a freshman. <laughs> Sorry. And even if I did go to prom, I don't think I would wear a prom dress. And also because I have like the midriff showing I, w I don't even think I would be allowed to wear this at prom. Prom dress codes are pretty ridiculous, and I feel bad for all the girls that have to go through that. I wouldn't allow girls to be completely... You know? Ooh, this is a look. So that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, because I don't know you wouldn't enjoy watching this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, because I'm very, very desperate. And I'll see you all...
in the next one. It's like I'm wearing a bra, except bras are less comfortable.